Hey, what's up, YouTube? Mar here from Little Ladies Up Against Brew and Death Watch. Today we have a very special video, duels only. Let's get into it. All right, so for this first one, we're gonna be using Momo and Fran up against this Jean Chandra and Cigar. Let's see how this one goes. All right, so this one is gonna be a little bit sketchy just because the Cigar can strip. All right, so he's gonna use his skill three, provoke and get the reset. So we're gonna have to just play this one safe for now. All right, so for now, we're gonna be okay unless they're gonna be doing a pretty good amount of damage. Okay, they are hitting fairly hard. We're gonna start working onto the cigar if possible. All right, so I was stuck here for a while. Wasn't too sure what to do. So I went for the heal and unfortunately we got stunned. Okay, so nice proc from the Fran. We're just gonna work on the cigar so we don't have the defense break like that. And we do get stunned again. I do think Momo would be a lot better on the Vio set. I should have put her on Vio just for this one. Yeah, we're not going to be able to do much here with the Fran almost dead. And she's dead. It's a 1v3. Maybe if my Momo was on the Vio set, we'd be able to do some more damage here. But just like that, we got the triple defense break, but we're not going to be able to follow it up. Because we get provoked, stunned, defense broken, everything that they want to fucking throw lands. Just like that. And it's a G. G. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to have to come back into this one with the Tian Lucian. Originally, I was just going to use this team, but I did want to use Momo. Since she's still a fairly new toy, we're going to go ahead and boost up the Lucian. Let's see how much we do. 13s and 15k, very anti-wind. Alright, so for this next one, we're going to come into it with the Water Ivor and Lulu up against this Virad Juno and Bella Jewel. I think we should be good here as long as we're not getting stripped and CC'd. Okay, we're going to start working onto the Virad if possible. Nice strip. I'm going to have to use skill 3 just to be safe here. Hopefully the Juno... Okay, thankfully the Juno didn't use skill 2. Rad's not going to be able to do shit with the immunity on. And we're just going to keep working onto him. Okay, luckily no defense break from the Vela Jewel and no stuns. We're looking good. We got some dots on the Varad. He should be dead. We're just going to go ahead and weaken him up a little bit more. Dice to the dots. And now we're going to work onto the Juno. Okay, no strip. Very nice. At this point, I went ahead and just focused the Vela Jewel because I didn't want to have to deal with the defense break, strip, immunity, all that bullshit. So we're going to go ahead, kill him first, and leave Juno for dessert. Okay, so he's very weak. Unfortunately, we get stunned there. We should be able to kill this next turn. We're going to go ahead, kill the Vela Jewel. 2v1 up against this Juno. She's not going to be able to do much. It's another GG. Alright, so for this next one, we are going to come into it with the Feng Yan and Amelia up against this Feng Yan, Camilla, and Xiang Fei. We should be good here. Nothing or really much to worry about unless we get defense broken and they do a lot of defense-based damage. But we do have the immunity and they're not going to be able to strip, so we should be fine. Man, what can I say about Feng Yan? He's such an OP unit. Luckily, I have three of them. I think I might have fed one back then. I'd have to say that Feng Yan is the solo GOAT. If you guys have any opinions on that, let me know. I think Camilla is a runner-up. She's very solid, especially after the buff. So the Water Pony is actually doing a pretty good amount of damage onto the Fire Panda. We're going to try to get rid of him first because we don't want him to defense break the Feng Yan. And then all these procs go into the Feng Yan. Okay, so he should die here. Nice. Now to 2v2, we're going to go ahead and kill the Camilla first and then the Feng Yan. We don't want him to get the attack bar and the counters. I have a question for you guys. Do you guys think I should put it on 2 times speed next time when I do a duo video? Because it does take a little while, but I do want to make sure that you guys see everything that's going on. All the important things at least. As long as we can land those defense breaks on Camilla, we should be able to kill her fairly quickly. But I have to say, she's actually fairly tanky. So we're going to go ahead and maybe try to go for the Feng Yan here. Nice defense break. We don't get the freeze. 
He doesn't have skill ups though, so he's not going to use a skill 2. Now let's see if we can snipe here. Okay, he's very low. Nice proc. We kill the Feng Yan. It's a 2v1. I'm going to go ahead and save you the time, and it's another GG. Alright, so for this next one, we are going to hit this Zing Zay, Nora, and Chandra with the OP Water, Hollyberry, and Juno. Let's see how this one goes. We don't really have that much heals except from the Juno passive, but I think we should be fine if that Nora just keeps landing stuff on the Juno just like that. Alright, luckily we do stun the Zing Zay. We're going to start working on Nora. Hopefully, the Chandra doesn't hug the Nora. At some point, it probably will because she's low HP. Okay, so far, so good. Nice proc. We're going to keep working on to the Nora. She is on a revenge set though, so she's going to be getting those revenge heals, which can be very annoying to deal with. Of course, she's going to proc out of the stun, but it's okay. We're going to work on to the Zing Zay if possible. Nice proc. Can we defense break? No defense break. Defense break? Nope. Not even a stun. I went ahead and switched targets to the Zing Zay just so that the Chandra can hug the Zing Zay and I can kill the Nora. But as you'll see here, I proc like crazy. So I was just like, might as well try to kill the Nora. Look at all these procs. If we can get rid of the Nora, we don't have to deal with the heals and it's pretty much a GG. But we're not going to be able to kill her just yet. Of course, she's going to get hugged again. Hopefully, we can strip. No strip. That hug is like irresistible strip. I don't even... Can you strip it? Now that I think about it, you should be able to strip it, right? It's just so hard to strip for whatever reason. Alright, so luckily, the Manon's very tanky. Eating up those Zing Zay hits. We're going to try to kill him here. Nice defense break. The Juno should be able to do some good damage. Okay, nice. The Zing Zay's gone. It's a 2v2. The Nora's almost down. Nice. We're doing a good amount of damage with the Juno. Can we kill here? No, but we do get the defense break. And Juno kills the Nora. Alright, another GG. We have this Bailiger Luis and Mo Long defense. We're going to go ahead and try to Lucian it with Konamiya. And Lucian, let's see how well this goes. Alright, so luckily the Luis didn't take the first turn. Let's see if we can kill here. The Luis survives with the ball hair of health. Now, it's going to be a little bit awkward here. Can we stun? No stun, but we do land the glancing. We're going to have to boost up the Lucian. Can we kill the Molong? Nope. Okay, she's hitting decently hard. We had to kill the Molong first. Of course. Now we're going to have to kill her first. She's still so low. We finish her off with the Konomiya. And the Molong is dead. Alright, so for this next one, we are going to hit this Feng Yan Varad. And I can't think of his name right now. But the Fire Poseidon with our very own Feng Yan and Aaliyah. Alright, so this one shouldn't be too crazy unless we get reset by whatever his name is i can't think of it okay we're gonna just go ahead use the skill two and start working onto him nice we didn't get frozen now we're gonna have to use the skill three here just for that defense buff oh we do get stunned though okay thankfully the feng yan isn't hitting that hard so we're gonna go ahead and use the skill four just for the immunity and we're gonna keep working on to the fire dude, very low. Okay, but he is going to heal up a little bit. We're going to have to cleanse that off. And we're going to snipe. Alright, now it's a 2v2. We should be good here. We're going to focus the Varad first. No defense break, unfortunately. Okay, perfect. We do get the counter into the defense break, into another counter. And we're going to go ahead and almost finish him off. That Varad is pretty tanky. This Feng Yan hits pretty hard. But it seems like it's pretty anti-wind. Alright, now it's a 2v1. And again, it's pretty much another GG. Alright, so for the next one, the one I'm probably going to use in the thumbnail. We are going up against the Zing Zay, Armana, and Velajul. With our brand new toy, Rakan. 
and an old ass harmonia. Let's see how this one goes. Okay, so they take the first turn. My Rakan is fairly slow. We're gonna use skill two into skill three. Can we get the triple provoke? Very nice. But we're not gonna get the counters, unfortunately. So the main threat here is that our mana with the revive and the heal, the cleanse. Once we get rid of, of course he's gonna do that. Once we get rid of the Armana, we shouldn't have too much of a problem. Although the Vela Jewel can still strip and defense break us. So I used all the Devilmon that I had to skill up Rakan. He was missing like two on skill three at this point. So I think with a few more Devilmon, he'll be a little bit better with that skill three being on deck. Okay, the Harmonia did get stunned. It's not good here. Of course, another hero coming out. We're going to have to use skill 2 and skill 3. Can we get a strip? Nice strip and provoke. We have to kill this Armana ASAP. Look at these procs. Okay, this is getting a little sketchy here. Look at all this attack bar. Nice, we finally get a collapse. Okay, we kill the Armana, thankfully. Not a 2v2, but we're not out of the woods yet. Even with... The HP swap. The Rakan still might die. Why the hell is my Rakan not collapsing? What is this? Does it only collapse when skill 3 is on or the immunity is on? I'm not too sure. I thought he collapsed at any point. Okay. Nice. We kill the Zing Zay and we're able to heal. So clutch. to 2v1. Fuck this Vela Jewel. We're going to get this dub. For this next one, we are going to bring in Tractor and Windy up against this Galleon, Tiana, and Banana -na 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 -na. I just want to apologize if my audio sounds a little bit off today. I am recording in the kitchen, so I don't wake up my girlfriend because I already did it once tonight. Okay, so luckily that Banana -na 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 didn't use his skill 3. We should be good here. We're going to keep working out to him. Once we kill him, it's a GG. I honestly might have even been able to just tractor this one but i wanted to play it safe and either way it's a duo only video they didn't even get to lower the hp that much it's a gg all right so for this next one we are gonna have to use feng yan number three with the other one's runes on it and riley up against the zing zay abelio and juno we should be good here unless we get defense broken by the zing zay and followed up with the juno but i think we should be good here Alright, so the primary target is going to be that Zing Zay. We don't want those defense breaks and those counters coming out from him. So we're going to try to get rid of him first. Then we're going to go for the Belio so we don't have the heals and save Juno for dessert again. We do have Hagu here being my number one hater. Shout out to Hagu. I still love you even though you hate me now. Alright, so luckily I did bring Destroy into this one. This Feng Yan is actually built on the Vio defense, very high defense. I don't know why, I never use it. It's crazy to think how OP destroy runes are. I remember a few years ago, I didn't even use them. I had a bunch of them. They were not useful. And now they're pretty much required anytime you're gonna go ahead and hit a slow team. It's kind of crazy just thinking about how everything's changed over the years. All right, so the mini podcast is over and it's another G G. All right, so unfortunately, this is going to be the last attack that I recorded. I didn't have time to record anything else afterwards. Everything was pretty much taken and I was pretty busy. Let's see how this one goes. This is a very confusing match. Just letting you guys know. So first off, we're going to go ahead and snipe this Icarus. All right, now we're going to go for the mold long. Can we get the strip? A nice strip. We have five stacks. Looking fairly well here. Very well here, actually. Okay. The Draco's very low. Can we snipe them along? We don't snipe them. And we get stunned. This 3000 IQ Molong is on despair. How are you kidding me? Okay, we're still not out of the woods yet. We have another life. Can we strip? Nice strip. If we get stunned again, we're fucked. No sleep. Look at these procs from the Wusa. Okay, we're not going to be able to kill the Molong. And of course, we get stunned. What is this shit? That match had me laughing so much just because the Molong was on despair. 
Shout out to them for that. We do win the siege and let's see the contribution. So Destro at the top with 235. Shout out to Destro OP. I'm in what like sixth place or something. I still had four attacks left. I wish I would have been able to use them. Let's see how the attacks went. So you can see all the attacks that I used. Here are the defenses that I was running. I think I might have switched a couple of them recently. It's been kind of weird because I don't know what exactly to build at this point aside from Anon. All right, everyone's favorite part of the video, the trophy box. Let's see what we get. Hagu's always getting the good, good. And we do get one scroll. I'll take it. We do get one exclusive summon in total. Sell this rune. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.